into the new year and you've got these resolutions and you're setting goals, make sure obviously number one that you're writing those goals down, but more importantly, make sure that you are speaking those goals into fruition. Make sure that you are communicating those goals with as many people as you can. Get it out there, speak them into fruition. It is a vital role of hitting them. Most, the most important person to speak those to is your spouse, your partner, your significant other. Russell Kent Reese said, setting family expectations so that doesn't add to a list of challenges is key. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing worse than, you know, hard charging after a goal with your family not on the same um, track. Like, there's nothing worse than that, of feeling like your family is holding you back. Like, that's a terrible environment to put yourself in going to create a terrible home life and it's going to create friction throughout your day when you're working um, you just have to get on the same page like now is the best time to do that I mean so many people right now are, are in the process of setting goals or just set goals like if your wife or your husband doesn't know your goals that's a problem uh, and even your kids you know if they're old enough to understand like for your kids to know what your goals are so that they can get excited towards working towards those goals. Um, again, that's the importance of like setting those 90 day goals of, hey, we're gonna go do this and, and have a goal attached to that. Like, hey, we're gonna take this trip in four months, but only if I hit this goal. Now, all of a sudden, when you're coming home, your son comes up to you and is like, hey, did you make 100 phone calls today? Because he knows that in order for you to hit that goal and for him to be able to go on this trip, you have to do that. And there's no better accountability than your family holding you accountable. But at the very least, you're all on the same page and understand, like, it's not just like, why is dad gone? Why is mom gone? It's like, well, dad's gone because he's got this big goal in the next 90 days and we're going to go on this trip when he hits it. Um, for everyone to have something looking, that they're looking forward to and that it's based on action items and goals that are set in place. Um, I mean, communication's key.